Hi, I'm Jack Barnes, President and CEO of People's United Bank. I'm here on Audubon Street in New Haven, a vibrant cultural center. People's United Bank is proud to support the communities where we live and work. That's why we're supporting CPTV and the many Connecticut cultural treasures they will be featuring over the coming months. Look for stories each week featuring a cultural treasure in your neighborhood. This painting, which is the most important Impressionist painting in the country, American artists discover light. For director Douglas Highland, the works that you see here at the New Britain Museum of American Art are not just masterpieces. They are like members of his own family. You know, I used to have favorites, but now I look at a number of the paintings and I know their history and the people that own them and the stories behind them. Artwork that transcends the walls. It has taken years to build up the collection, from colonial portraiture to American Impressionism to the up-and-coming artist. When you come here, all of your expectations are realized. It should be enjoyable, it should be educational, it, there should be surprises. The expansion in 2006 enabled their collection to blossom in a beautifully designed space. Many of the works here are in collection storage, a rotating symphony of great works each one waiting its turn to be appreciated. We're constantly rotating our artworks in our changing galleries as well as in our uh, permanent galleries. So when something like that happens, one of our masterpieces comes down from upstairs, then we take something from storage and put it in its place. That careful rotation allows visitors to enjoy new works of art that range from oil paintings to pulp fiction to seldom seen statues. We never have the same paintings up all the time. We, we are changing them so that the collection is always growing. There is an ease of space here, each room meticulously laid out to capture your attention and imagination. But behind the scenes, that seamless flow is carefully choreographed months or even years in advance. The museum's new Now series welcomes emerging artists, today's talent that could be tomorrow's next Andrew Wyeth. In this space, contemporary artists abandon a two-dimensional palette in exchange for an environment like this installation called Bipolar. She created this very cool environment with the blue walls and with icicles and with really a very large ice cube in the middle of the room. And in the next room are these glowing logs that look like they are just totally on fire. Just as a new exhibit is born, it soon will be taken down. Each piece carefully packed away and shipped out, part of the life cycle of newer artists on borrowed time here. So what we really want is to have you come here and see something you have never seen before that is very provocative and it gives you a sense of expanding your horizons and your understanding of an artist or an art school with which you are unfamiliar like this intriguing kaleidoscope of color, constructed of 20,000 cups. Or this interactive exhibit, which tests your ability to tell the real one from the fake. Part of the enjoyment of coming to a museum is learning more about each individual piece. And you can do that here if you have a smartphone by simply downloading an app, scanning the symbol, which accesses a virtual tour by the director. Knowing more about the art brings you closer to the artist. We're interested in how the art is created and why and what people are thinking and feeling when they're doing it. So we the artist mapped out a few of the ideas. Students new to art or those who just want to brush up on their skills can get hands-on inspiration by touring the museum, then attending workshops where they can bring their ideas to life. I was an art teacher. I went to art school for six years and I'm learning all kinds of new things and it's wonderful. The museum is in a constant quest to reinvent itself, to appeal to all art tastes, and it does so with each detail, from the benches you can sit on 
to the edible art that is created in its cafe, brought together in a serene setting overlooking Walnut Hill Park. There are many works here that are valued in the millions, but if you ask Douglas Highland what the most valuable piece is here, he'd say it's not about the money, but the sense of wonderment one feels when they leave. That, to him, is priceless. And it's what makes the New Britain Museum of American Art a Connecticut cultural treasure. Funding provided by CPTV, the State of Connecticut, New Britain Museum of American Art, Melinda and Paul Sullivan, and People's United Bank, what know-how can do.